Thank you and welcome to this short presentation. This is about how to stop overusing painkillers. This is a video from the Severe Headache Expert series. My name is Rayburn Forbes. I'm a practicing neurologist who looks after people with difficult to control headaches. The Severe Headache Expert website is a free to use resource for people with problem headaches. You first probably should ask, do painkillers cause headaches? When you first take painkillers for a headache, they usually help. In fact, careful use of painkillers is very sensible. What normally happens to you, however, is that the headaches never really settle, the painkillers continue, and you end up with headache after headache after headache, and you continue to take lots of painkillers. If, you, if your doctor's told you to stop the painkillers, there's a high chance the headaches will settle. In this case, the painkillers are the cause of the headaches. In some people, however, the painkillers stop, but the headaches continue. And in that situation, the painkillers are not the cause of the headache. This can cause a lot of confusion. It's much more accurate to say that painkillers are a risk factor for chronic severe headache. This means that if you take lots of painkillers, you're more likely to get bad headaches, but if you reduce or stop painkillers, you're less likely to get severe headaches. The statistics are in your favour. If you've got very bad headaches and you're overusing medicines, there's a 75% chance that you will improve. And this is especially true if your previous headache was called migraine. These are the usual culprits, codeine, triptans, tramadol, and in the USA, barbiturate containing medicines. Ask yourself this question. Do you use painkillers for headache more than 10 days per month? Have you been doing this for several months? If yes to both questions, you probably have a painkiller problem and you need to stop the painkillers. The best way to go about painkiller headaches is just to stop them. Decide on a day, no more painkillers. Unfortunately, in quite a lot of people, this will lead to a situation of worsening headache called rebound headache. It is, however, possible to offset rebound headache by a short course of steroid or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines. And there's more information on this on the website at this page. So what are you going to do? You need to commit yourself to taking less painkillers. In fact, you should stop them altogether and start looking after yourself better. Which leads me on to step two, which is lifestyle. And the next video in the series will look at the headache friendly lifestyle. That's all I want to say on painkiller overuse and stopping painkillers. Please remember that this video and my website are not a substitute for proper medical care. They are designed to be used alongside what your own doctor is telling you. If you want more information, you could sign up to a monthly newsletter or look up Google Plus postings on Facebook and there is a YouTube channel as well.